So uh, my first question that I, I like to ask all of our guests, it's, you know, a little, a little funny, but who are you and uh, what is the Liberty Blitzkrieg? Sure. Um, so obviously my name is Michael Krieger. Um, my background is I, I, my career started at the now defunct Lehman Brothers back in 2000. Um, I joined there right at the top of uh, one of one of our last bubbles, um, the, that tech bubble. And um, I was I entered into the program as an oil analyst. So I worked for the guy who covered the major oils and refining companies. So names like ExxonMobil, Chevron, Texaco, Tesoro, Valero, um, names like that. So I was basically in a cube for five uh, for five years, uh, going through a ca- you know like ten Ks and spreadsheets, and it was yeah, it didn't didn't it wasn't exactly my idea of fun, but I learned a lot. I, my the analyst that I worked under was extremely smart and, and talented in what he in what he does. So um, after that, in two thousand and five ish. I joined Sanford Bernstein um, as a commodities desk analyst. So this is where I really, I like to describe this as the job that um, fit my personality perfectly. Uh, I sat on a trading floor. I was looking all, you know, I was looking at all commodities as well as the energy equities, utility equities, all all that stuff. Plus, just markets in general. So that there, I was able to learn trading, and um, you know, sort of how markets work, and really and really expand out into the, you know more macro everything. Um, and it was at that desk when the financial crisis hit. And at that point, I started asking questions, as I think a lot of people started asking questions. And um, I started to discover um, the the system wasn't actually set up the way that I had assumed it was set up. You know, to that, prior to that point, I thought that, um, you know, that I was, I was making all this money. I was having such a, such a good career because I was great. You know, I was so smart and all that. But then I really realized with the crisis, when they started bailing out people like me, um, wall street, people that didn't need bailouts, I realized how, how gross and rigged the system was. And I really, and I really had a a problem and a difficulty sitting in that chair. Um, so I, I started writing about these things, you know, from my seat at Bernstein, and then eventually, you know, I really couldn't couldn't be there anymore. It didn't make sense. I wasn't feeling good about about the job, and I left in early 2010. And I really had no idea what I was going to do. Uh, I started. I continued to write because my job at Bernstein was to write about macro issues, and I had a very very large you know client list from of, of the biggest institutional investors in the world, hedge funds, mutual funds, everybody globally. Um, so I kept that going, and then you know one day. One of my articles got picked up on on Zero Hedge. Um, then RIP. I, <laughs> RIP from Twitter, the absolute top. Incredible. Pretty much the absolute top. Um, but uh, but they, so they picked it up, and then I got a bigger audience. And then I was interviewed by like Max Kaiser and Stacey Herbert of the Kaiser Report, if you're familiar with that show, and they're brilliant. And uh, so I sort of, so, so I realized, you know, at this at this point, you know, okay, well, um, there's an audience for this sort of thing. I think I have stuff to share. Um, and so about a year, year and a half after that in 2012, I decided to just put it in my own blog because prior to that, I was just emailing it out to people, emailing my thoughts out. And I did that then same year as that I discovered Bitcoin and started getting involved in Bitcoin. And that changed my life in a whole nother different way. Um, but basically, uh, for the last base for, for essentially for the last 10 years now, I've been writing about and trying to teach, um, based on my experience and my knowledge and my macro sort of um, intuition and abilities, you know what's really going on. You know, you know how do how do things work at a, at the biggest picture level? Um, what does that mean? And the interesting thing about today is is you know so many of the themes that I've been writing about for ten years are are all really coming to a head because of this pin, right? This pin that that, that found its way into the balloon. Um, of this giant everything bubble, and so it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty incredible time to be talking about all this stuff because it's it's sort of like the culmination of my last ten years' work um, coming to a head right now. Yeah, I mean, when I reached out to you a few weeks ago, I, I didn't think that we would be sitting here today amidst you know a, a actual meltdown and this week you know two <laughs> yeah. trading halts and it's unbelievable.